I want you guys to think back uh, to just a few days ago. We did a video on a potential Huffington Post article that was claiming Hillary was about to be indicted or indicted, imminent indictment, and it got taken down from the Huffington Post. Well, Breitbart has, has come through and, uh, uh, I guess, spoken to the, the author of that post, and this is what he stated. The editors deleted my article on Hillary's imminent indictment, disabled me from writing. That right there should show every single person the absolute and utter control that the Clinton Foundation has. Ah. You guys paying attention? Ladies They're evil, know. guys. Don't even... Hillary Clinton is selected, not elected, selected. Because you better believe she's not the top of the food chain. She's just another puppet playing That's a part. It. If she is selected to be the next president, we are in for a very wild ride. And a lot of people think it's not going to happen because we'll go to civil war before she comes for our guns, so on and so forth. Man... I highly doubt it. To tell you the truth, I highly doubt it. This, this, this government has pushed so hard and so far, yet people are still dead asleep. Hear that? And many of those people are supposedly voting for Hillary Clinton. While it's very interesting to see the polls, the numbers are so fabricated. You need to know that. I mean, there are... Talk to any sort of computer technician, IT person, and they will tell you. Or you I guess you can't really talk to any of them. You have to talk to ones who work pretty much in the voting arenas, if you would. Um, they'll tell you it is so easy for it to be hacked or manipulated. I mean, there are all sorts of videos on YouTube. Just type in voter fraud or whatever, whatever you want to type in, hacking on voting. And you'll come to an old video from back in early 2000s. Uh, early 90s, not early 90s, it was late 90s. That, that's going to show how easy and how long it's been going on. And people are just now waking up to that fact that our entire voting system is rigged. We do not have a say in who is our leader. There are elites that control and run this country. And here's a clear example of exactly their power. I guarantee you it was just a phone call. Actually, no, it wasn't even a freaking phone call. It was probably a little text. Hey, take that article down. That's not right. To the Huffington Post editors. Gone. Deleted, and he's been banned from writing it for Huffington Post. Now that I'm defending the guy because I don't know him, I'm just telling you. That is how easy it is for them to get away with things. And it's really interesting. Because people better recognize what's actually taking place. Hillary Clinton, so far, in her situation, is still walking free. Any other person uh. would be in jail already. Yet she is still walking free. Not only that, she's running for president. I don't think people I get it, know. but it's a statement, and nobody's recognizing that. She is in, she should be in prison. Yet she's running for president. I, I, I can't state it much clearer than that. Huh. It's so ironic. Because you got to also think about this too. She is in prison in her own mind. She has definitely sold her soul. And of course, she is controlled by the elite. She's not the elite. She is a puppet, a part of the elite, carrying out the agenda. It's like an old empty vessel with nothing in it but a stupid smile. A writer for the Huffington Post is still waiting for an explanation as to why editors deleted his piece reporting that the FBI will pursue an indictment against Hillary Clinton. Huffington Post freelance contributor Frank Huggenraw. Huggenraw she has enough power to do that, guys. So if I die, it's Hillary's fault, guys. The speaker wrote a report for the liberal site Sunday entitled Hillary Clinton to be indicted on federal racketeering charges. But the piece was not up for long before the Huffington Post pulled it down and replaced it with the 404 error screen. HuffPo is yet to respond to my request for an explanation. He tweeted as uh, at this Breitbart News reporter Monday morning, I've got my sources they never asked. He later told Breitbart News, I want to do another story, but my HuffPo account has been temporarily disabled. Not sure what's happening with them. 
Huffington Post politics senior editor Sam Stein told Breitbart News that he doesn't know why the piece was pulled. Sorry, I don't know. I do, hang, on, well, hang on here. We have the senior editor who has not a clue or why. Well, either somebody doesn't have a clue how to do their job, or he's not allowed to say anything. You guess. I direct, uh, I direct your question to a blog editor. Oh, there it is. Okay, right. But you're the senior editor who's over the blog. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Press to provide contact information for the blog editor in question. Stein did not respond further. Um, an appointed Bernie Sanders supporter, Huguenard, and I, I butchered it, I apologize. An apparent Bernie Sanders supporter, judging by his Twitter account, wrote that the FBI will recommend indicting Hillary Clinton on racketeering charges. Now, I, I, I man. There you go, guys. It's just, it's She's just, trying it's, to pull strings behind, I, and I don't support this she guy. is. Don't, don't take me wrong. I'm just telling you. This is just a clear example of what they are doing. It will be their way, or there will be no America. Let's put it that way. Because their weaponry is much, so much far, so much, so far in advance than what we have even know about. First of all, second of all, we wouldn't even know that America didn't exist anymore. Because we don't. America doesn't exist anymore. At least not under Hillary Clinton or what's going on right now. We are the land without borders. We're no longer a country. Actually, wait, that's not yet. Hillary Clinton stated that within the first 100 days of her being in office, that would be what's going to happen. So you see what's happening. We're, we're not really a country anymore. We're not. We're just kind of slaves playing our parts, doing our roles for a higher class.